In this video, I want to take you through the basics of the Unity interface in regards to a 2D game layout here. Now, all I did was made a new 2D project and opened it in Unity using the Unity Hub. One thing I wanted to draw folks' attention to is you may run into quite frequently that Unity is telling you, hey, you know, there's a new update for your version. There is some debate as far as should you update. Honestly, if you've already started working on a game flow or you have multiple games tied to a version, it's okay to skip installing the new version. You don't need to install the latest and greatest every single time your software package tells you to. My personal practice is I normally skip a version and then I look at the following version, see if it's worth it. So you may have this pop up, just tell it to skip. Now, some of you may be familiar with the Unity interface in regards to 3D game design development. However, you got a lot of the same things, just I want to draw your attention to a few buttons and a few of the elements here, especially in the scene area that you may not be familiar with. Now, once again, you have what is called the hierarchy panel. The hierarchy panel, not only can you add different elements here, such as your 2D objects, which are pretty much more important in this type of realm. You can also, uh, you see your main camera there as well. Remember, the hierarchy is kind of a tracking system for you regarding all of the things that you place inside of the game scene. So this is a quick and easy way for you to access specific sprites or if you have audio filters, etc. you're able to go in and at, be able to double click and select those. By default here, I'll double click. You have a main camera. Every time you make a new scene or level in Unity, you're always going to have that main camera. And right now that main camera is in your 2D viewport mode. Now, one thing I'd like to do before I dive into the scene window is jump right on over here to inspector. If you noticed when I double clicked on the main camera, you see how the inspector kind of, I like to say it came to life. Your inspector is your bread and butter as far as working with the individual assets that you have in a scene or that are tracked via the hierarchy. In the inspector, depending on what you have selected in the environment, will depend on what is displayed going through the inspector here. This can have numerous things applied to it. It's not just the defaults for each of the elements. This is how we attach things like C-sharp codes to different items. And also too, you can add in audio elements, you can add in, oh, different sprites, etc. So it is a very powerful element that you should pay attention to whenever you are working between the hierarchy, the scene window, and the inspector window. Now let's go ahead here and jump back into the scene area here. Right over on the side here, you do have your multiple tools as far as your scale, your rotate, you know, your view tools, so you can actually, you know, click and move around. But one thing I want to draw your attention to, especially for those who have worked in 3D in Unity, is up in the upper right hand corner here, you have several buttons here going across the top, but one of them is 2D view. Now, if I turn that off, notice that you can actually snap into a 3D view and a, you have your perspective widget pop up here. Rem just be careful of that and cautious of that. I've seen some folks, whenever they're first starting out with 2D, they kind of accidentally bump that button and then they're like, oh, geez, what happened? I don't know uh, where things went. So. And also too, you can see here, as far as the projection, I can click on the edges here and change the orthographic view of what my main camera can see. We'll be talking more about those in later projects and later videos, but I just wanted to give you the heads up, especially about that 2D button there, because I've seen that kind of throw folks uh, as far as game design goes. Probably one of the only other things to really point out here is your grid option up here, like the Y grid, um, it's up to you as far as you do have some options, like if you want to have, you take down the opacity a little, that maybe it's getting in the way. This is a personal preference. I know I have some students that they just prefer, they want it off. I'm a person, I like having the grid on as a reference. Uh, so 
again, with the drop down though, you do have some control. Maybe you don't want it as bright, so you can, you know, scroll down on the opacity and you can see it's kind of getting lighter there in the gray. Totally up to you how you work with that. The last panel I want to go over real quickly with everybody is actually two panels, uh, the project and the console. Your project panel is where you're going to be able to see all of the assets as far as your project is concerned. So if you import things like sprite sheets, uh, audio, etc., it's going to be stored down in this area here. Likewise, you do have an area called scenes, which you could also call levels. By default, Unity always starts with a sample scene, so you could make a brand new save on the sample scene there. But also as well, you could just generate a brand new one, keep the sample scene as a backup, and then turn around and delete it at a later point in time. Completely up to you. Now, because you also have a lot of assets that are going to be relying on things like C Sharp, for instance, the console actually is going to play a big role here. This is where you're going to have outputs as far as testing is concerned, or if you have errors or warnings. In 2D, I will say I, you pay a lot of attention to the console. 3D, that's not to say 3D you don't pay attention to it, but I do find myself jumping between the project and the console much more. Now, as far as some of the other items here, as far as the interface goes, very similar to if you're used to working with 3D. Again, you can do a file, you can save your scenes uh, if you need to. Oops, it looks like it didn't sign me in here, but you can sign in so you can have reference to all of your assets from the Unity store. And likewise as well, you still have access to your layers that you can edit and you can control as far as your sprites are concerned. And you can even tweak your layout if that's something that you'd like to do. So again, that's just the bare bones as far as the Unity interface and gearing up to start designing some 2D games.